channels on GamesNet, irc.gamesnet.net. And if you don't have an IRC client, all you have to do is log in to halfliferadio.com, click on the chat now link, and that'll get you right into the uh, radio channel of where we're broadcasting live from. Our guest tonight, Earth Special Forces, is here, ESF. And their website is, uh, hmm. I get it, I get it. I got it. I got it before you did. Uh, you did. W- <laughs> www.esforces.com. Again, that's esforces.com. Earth Special Forces is here. We have uh, DJ Ready. We have Master Surf and PC Joe. And just want to make note that Master Surf is still working on his microphone. That, that's what took us so long to, to get back from break. He's uh, still setting up his uh, microphone. So uh, DJ Radio and PC Joe, welcome to Half Life Radio. Thank you very much. Yeah, hello. Yeah, we're glad to have you. So for those that are listening to Half Life Radio and they don't know anything about the Earth's special forces, why don't you? Give us a rundown uh, of what that is. Sounds fun. (laughs) (laughs) I think it's better if Joey explains the whole stuff. Yeah, Joe, why don't you go ahead? Uh, Sorry about that. What was the question again? Why don't you give us a rundown on the... Of what the Earth Special Forces is all about. Well, it's pretty simple. It's a Dragon Ball Z game, obviously. You have beams, you have melee. I don't know. It's a third-person beat-em-up game. Pretty simple. It's even more than that. Um, yeah. You've got a lot of uh, a lot of different things that you can do that are not just beat em up Yeah, we have the complex melee system, we have a nice swooping system, we have beams, lots of characters. And each character seems to have some special, you know, special strengths, special skills. Well, what, what got you guys started on the Earth's Special Forces? say it was uh, most of us just like the show when we first started watching it. Ah, Master Surf is here, finally. Uh, good glad to have to, you. Glad to meet you, Master Surf. Good to meet you too, and yeah, I'm alive. So why don't you give us a quick rundown of what ESF is all about, and uh, for those that are tuning in that don't know what Earth Special Forces is all about. Well, uh, ESF is a mod we're creating based on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, We mix a a bunch of different elements. Um, Most mods use guns and you run around shooting people. In ours, it's completely different. You um, actually get to fly around. You have energy attacks you can use to shoot at people. Um, And then we just put in a complex melee system where you get to do a hand-to-hand combat mixed in with that. And how did you all get involved in this? Well, um, there's a couple of us that first started it, and gradually people just joined. I think uh, the show was pretty popular at the time, so a lot of people were interested in Dragon Ball Z and wanted to help make a mod. Very cool. There's a lot of screenshots and media files uh, on the website. Again, the website is esforces.com, and it's uh, a huge community following. Uh, I'm really impressed. Yeah, tell us about your fans. Oops, sorry, go ahead. No, just ask it. Uh, Tell us about your fans. Well, we have a pretty big following. Uh, We have a nice community on our forums. Um, ESF's kind of a game where you can 
hang out with people and play. And yeah, it's it's a pretty friendly place. Well, we're glad to have them all come join you here on uh, Half Life Radio. We're going to be taking questions on uh, both IRC and Ventrilo from the public. Uh, if you want to join us on IRC, it's irc.gamesnet.net. We're in the radio channel. And uh, you can just PM one of the ops, uh, whether it's myself, Andy Hodges, or Captain Maverick, Death Toll David Fatal X, uh, or Teague 10. And uh, if you want to be on Ventrilo uh, and ask questions, uh, you can join Talk dot half radio dot com only on ventrilo tell us about your uh, characters tell us a little bit about why s some have certain special powers and, and some have other special powers now I know it's all based on a, on a show and I also know that well my sons watch the show but I I well may have seen it once or twice but that's about it well, uh, we do take characters and their special moves that they use in the show, but also what we try and do is we try and gear a certain character towards um, a certain way of playing, like uh, Piccolo, for example, he's kind of more of a distance fighter, uh, that's what we gear his attacks towards, um, and then on the opposite end of the spectrum we have Trunks, who we mainly gear towards hand-to-hand -hand combat and melee, they have advantages in each area. Yeah, I noticed that. I uh, I tried um, the one we were looking at today, and uh, frankly, I'm extremely impressed. Tried all the different characters and and, and the the different types of, of uh, well, I want to say weapons, but you know, powers that they that they have. I've got a question from IRC also. Um, let's see. The, he says, "Can we compare ESFWorld.com to?" Um, Red Saiyan? I'm not familiar with that. Uh, what he's talking about is we have um, fans that create sites for fan-made uh, models and sounds that people like to plug into ESF. Uh, there's also mods of ESF that people host and they're creating to add stuff that we haven't added yet. And what ESF World is is a site where all these fans can go and upload their files and have them hosted. Uh, Red Saiyan was actually the original site that started doing this. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, ESF World is um, Minds and Max 2 site. We founded it um, before I joined the development team. Got it. Okay. Well, and how did how did you guys all come together? I mean, did you guys just kind of gravitate towards each other? Or how'd the team come together? Uh, well, like I said before, there's just a couple of us in the beginning, and the first three main people were myself, Harsons, and SS Vegeta, and we just started pumping out work and gradually people wanted to start working with us. They, they liked our stuff and uh, yeah we've been just building the team ever since. And what drew you to Dragon Ball Z as a, uh, as a format? Well it was the first anime I ever saw and it was really cool and I thought it would make an interesting mod. I don't know, I kind of like Goku myself, you know. Yeah, that's a common favorite. Yeah, I also like the uh, the ability to fly, I like the the jump abilities, the, the gravity was... It didn't seem a whole lot realistic, but it did seem a lot fun. Now, what are your plans for your next release? Well, um, I don't know if you got that far while you're checking out the game, but when you get to a certain point, uh, you build strength as you hurt people, 
or kill people. And um, okay. yeah, when you get to a certain point, you have the option to transform. And what that does is it essentially makes you a lot more powerful, faster, and sometimes gives you extra attacks. So our plans for the next release are to finish all those forms. Right now, um, each character only has one transformation. In the series, they actually have four, five, and we're going to try and finish those all out so it should add another level to the gameplay. Very cool. Well, this question from uh, the IRC channel. Uh, this release focused on advanced melee. What's in the works for the next release with regard to uh, the, the, I guess the advanced melee would be one, mod of play, one mode of play? Is that something a little different? Uh, we do have options to turn off the energy attacks, the beams, so you can play with melee only. Um, in the next release, we just we're gonna probably add a few more combos to the advanced melee. Uh, the basic system's pretty much set how it is. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all we can do to build it. What does a, is, this is a question from IRC. What does a person need to uh, to play this game? play ESF, you need an up-to-date version of Half-Life. If you're going to play online, uh, I recommend Steam. We're pushing towards that because there's more options for us and it's a little more up-to-date. Besides that, uh, yeah, just ESF and uh, the newest version of uh, Half-Life. Now, uh, is this going to be carrying over to Half-Life 2 engine? We really don't have any plans to do this at that time. Um, we feel that if we were to convert this to Half-Life 2, it would be pretty much like making a whole new mod, because all our models and graphics would still look like Half-Life 1, so it would be kind of pointless. Hmm, okay. I've got a bunch of questions from IRC. Uh, another one here is uh, they'd like to know, will they have, will you have proper finishing combos for for people in the unique melee attacks for every character. That is one of the things we're looking at. Um, I don't know if that'll get a next release, but possibly after that. So it's on the table then? Yeah, essentially what our combos are now are finishers. Finishers? What's that mean? Well, when you're in advanced melee, um, each person takes a turn, uh, one's attacking and the other's blocking. If if you press a certain amount, a uh, certain key combination, you get this option to do a uh, finisher or a tier move, whatever you want to call it, and basically yes. just start going off on the person and then. Uh, it knocks them across the level. Okay. Here's another good question. Is the uh, this release coming up uh, going to be on Steam or on WAN? Our installer will, will be good for both. Um, what we're going to end up doing, though, is supporting one less which means we won't go out of our way to make certain certain features of ESF work on one. A good example would be the MP3 player. If we decide to convert to a newer one for Steam, um, the one version won't get that. Got it. Yeah, well, that makes sense. I tell you, the uh, questions are really very good tonight. Is there a set date for the release, or is it still when it's ready? <laughs> that's that's another question from uh, IRC. Well, it's been when it's done for a year. Um, the the <laughs> team understand. finally buckled down, and we did pick a date. We are shooting for May eighth. 
May 8th. That's the target date. Very good. Got that, Valen? Hooray! I can't imagine all the fans yelling now. <laughs> the IRC room just went through the roof. Uh, it started flashing by faster than I can read. And everybody, you can stop emailing me now. <laughs> That's right, stop emailing him. It's May 8th. We're shooting for May 8th. Okay, another question from IRC Channel. They had recently downloaded a compatible version for Steam, and they found it hard to find the, uh, the download site. Uh, they said something that it wasn't working. Um, they were going to ask if you were going to add more mirrors uh, pretty soon for the Steam version. Well, what they're probably trying to download is our old version, which is beta 1.1, and that is a year old. And if they're patient and wait three weeks, uh, they'll have a brand new copy of beta 1.2, which will work perfect on Steam. Got it. Okay, so be patient, folks. It's coming. So the current Actually, version is com is it compatible with Steam? We haven't re-released any installers that install specifically for Steam. It'll run, but you have to uh, do a little jerry rigging. I'm actually looking forward to May 8th now that you mentioned the, the date. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're not the only one looking forward. Well, there's been a little testing going on behind the scenes, I understand. Uh, how's that testing been going? I can tell you that I found it quite interesting. It's been going really well. We've been trying to have one large test each weekend. Um, on average, we have 10 to 16 people, and things have been running pretty smooth. It's been turning up a lot of bugs that we didn't find before with having that many people in the server, so it, it's been uh, really good. That's nice to hear. Yeah, I was in there uh, doing a little bit of that test today, and uh, I found it extremely interesting. It was, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like it. You guys got a little... It's definitely worth the wait to May 8th. Now, here we've got another question here from IRC. Will the gameplay be easier? Because last time you picked up ESF, was it was very confusing to them. Sadly, there still is quite a bit of a learning curve. It will be easier to play, um, especially with a higher ping. Our last version was kind of ping dependent, and this one's less so. Makes yeah, sense. I can confirm that since our Steam testing server is in the USA, and mm, lots of the beta testers and um, quite a few from the. DJ, can you turn your mic up a little? Oh, yeah, sure. Perfect. Yeah, when you spoke closely, close to it, it yeah, sounded good. All right, should be better now. Um, what about what was I going to say? Um, the development team um, consists of some people from the United States and a few from Europe, and the in-team testing server is located in the USA, and. So I can confirm that it's not that hard to play ESF with a high ping of like 200 or 250. We're going to take some questions from Ventrilo. We're going to start with uh, Skybird. Skybird, welcome to Half-Life Radio. You have a question for ESF? Uh, yeah. Ah, crap, I just forgot it. Well, I have one from the IRC. 
He's asking if the new patch, if in, in the new patch, if any of the characters will receive their more powerful transformations. Uh, like I said before, that's what we're planning on focusing on in our next release, which will be beta 1.3. That's what I thought. Okay. I got a question. Yes. Go ahead. Is there going to be any more uh, characters in this version 1.2? added any new characters. Um, also in 1.3 we are thinking about adding a couple new characters. Like who? We're looking at Android 18 and possibly Captain Ginyu. Number 18 is hot. And Hitman has a question. Hitman, welcome to Half-Life Radio. You have a question for ESF? Uh, yes, I do. Give me a second. Okay. You guys said that uh, in the next version, you know, the next release, you guys said that you were going to add some more uh, transformations for the characters. Are there going to be any plans for transformations like transformations from uh, Dragon Ball GT, like Super Saiyan 4, or maybe like the concept of team play or maybe like fusion where you could like fuse two team play characters into one and I don't know how that would work but I think it would be a cool idea though. We aren't planning on adding any characters or transformations from Dragon Ball GT. Uh, as for fusion, I can't really think of a way to do that in Half-Life and make it playable and balanced in gameplay. So, yeah, we really don't have any plans to put in Fusion. No, okay. Have you removed that uh, floating up bug when you're idling in midair when you fly? Get that? Do you hear that, Mister? What was that know. again? Um, have you fixed that bug when you're standing still in midair when you're flying? That you slowly flies upwards. Have you fixed that little bug? Hey, Garris has joined us. He's got a question for ESF. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to know, I haven't played ESF yet, but will it be ported over to Half-Life 2 when it's released? Well, we probably won't port it uh, because we feel it'll be like creating a whole new mod. And basically what you'd have is Half-Life 2 running Half-Life 1 graphics, and it just doesn't make too much sense to do that. I didn't mean port, I mean like recreate it. Sorry, use the wrong word. Um, probably not. I think after we're done with ESF on the Half-Life engine, uh, we're going to be ready to move on to bigger and better things. And All Destinies uh, is here. He's got a question for ESF. Um, in ESF 1.3, will there be like USSJ or SSJ? Turn too? your mic up. In um, in one in one point three, will there be USSJ or SSJ too? He's talking about Super Saiyan. Uh, there will be all the Super Saiyan levels. Uh, I don't think we have decided if Trunks is going to get his Ultra Super Saiyan uh, transformation yet. Oh, I have another question. Will Trunks um, have his uh, sword? Yes. And it'll actually uh, be worth using this time. How his sword works is when you're in advanced melee, 
if your last hit is a strong hit, you have three levels of hits in advanced melee of weak, medium, and strong. If your last hit is strong and the other person is under 20% health, uh, you'll give them. Very nice. Now, I've got another question here from the IRC channel. Uh, are you guys going to have an IRC party for the release? Yeah, we are planning on having a party. Uh, we're still trying to work out the details and see if we can get anybody to cover that. I'll hold it. That'd be awesome. Uh, when you say the release date, May 8th would be the party, right? Yes, yeah, Saturday. correct. They did, they did that for a um, they did that for beta 1.0. Is that that's not next week, is it? The week after next. No. The weekend before we go to E3. Right. Yeah, we'll have to definitely mention something about it on Half-Life Radio that night as well. Or maybe, uh, you know, yeah, join the party, yeah. <laughs> I got another uh, question here from the uh, uh, from the IRC channel. This was from a friend of mine, Abyss. Will ESF team ever address issues with the nuisance known as Devil? Uh, yeah. Actually, Harsons has been working on preventing the scripts from crashing the server. Uh, in case anybody, everybody doesn't know who Devil is, uh, he's been going around uh, using scripts to crash our servers. Um, and we have worked on preventing that for this release. Is Devil what just a jerk. one person? Um, I don't know. I've played with tons of them. Might, might be one person. What a jerk. <laughs> He's a jerk. No, it's like they're always Bill. When they die, they crash. They never die. It's like, no, it's like, they hardly die. If you kill them, they never crash. I'm nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> I've got another question here from the IRC channel. Uh, since you've added melee weapons, uh, or excuse me, advanced melee, what type of major or small bugs have you experienced? Uh, any type of melee slowdowns or stun, bu uh, stun time bugs, etc. And uh, let's see, this isn't the most ping based. Okay, well, uh, well, most things tend to be client side. Anyhow, um, what type of, uh, of bugs, problems have you been experiencing with it? Oh my god, we had so many bugs, it was crazy. It took about like a year to get stable, but now um, it runs pretty well. I have a question. You would. Out with it, come on. We ain't got all oh, night. Sorry. Um, you know like how you melee to the ground and it's like it slows you down? Is that a bug? Well, what do you mean it slows you down? Is that when you're recovering? Because we have a feature where if you're flying through the air and you hold down uh, the fire button, you can actually recover at the cost of energy. No, I mean like, um, let's see. Like in the ESF, um, Sound Knight or whatever it's called, like if you melee to the ground, I mean like swoop to the ground, you slow down and then you're like facing the ground and you slow down. Oh no, I actually fixed that. I ended up redesigning the melee system. I mean, no, I redesigned the toss system. So now you won't have that slowdown anymore. Oh. Uh. When you swoop, is it um, different uh, speeds when you swoop? Like, can you swoop real fast and slow and medium? You can only swoop one speed. But what we did add this time is a new feature, uh, what I like to call the double tap swoop. 
And what it is is if you double tap any direction, left, right, up, down, jump, and crouch, uh, your character will get a bolt of speed and you'll be able to like charge at somebody. Does it look like um, a speed hack with Counter-Strike, like the knife hack or something? <clears throat> I'm nine years old. I have another question. Um, when you said you're going on to bigger and better things, do you mean other mods or actual paying jobs in the game industry? Paying jobs. Well, we've actually talked about this. Um, we're thinking maybe going for a game, not necessarily like getting jobs in the industry, but trying to make one ourselves and see how that goes. If that doesn't work, then maybe another mod on a better engine. But maybe the Half-Life 2 engine? Or the Far Cry? Those are possibilities, um, but we won't be doing anything Dragon Ball Z. I think a lot of us have been doing this for around three years, and we're ready to move on. <laughs> It's kind of style, hasn't it? I have a question. Uh, well, I've got a question, and I'm an adult. I'm going to overwrite you a moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, nice. Talking. Okay. Are talking. <laughs> okay, now, Joe, <laughs> what do you got planned for your new practical system? Um, what do you hope to achieve? My new what? Practical system? Yeah, a part of, excuse what me, a practical particle system. Oh, I particle can't even system. Read you. Yeah, sorry, particle system. Yeah. Sorry. Actually, um, Harsan is recoding that. I'm not recoding the particle system. Oh, okay. Well, he aimed it at Wolf. This is from the you know IRC yeah. channel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. He says also, uh, since you guys are trying to stop scripts, uh, how will EVM be going to work with uh, with this. I have a question. Hey, I just asked a question. Let him answer it first. <laughs> it's your turn, man. Uh, eat some cake while he answers this other question. <laughs> yeah, have a piece of cake. So uh, can I answer? Uh, yeah, go ahead, please. I really have no clue how it's going to work anymore because we um, implemented new model locks that won't let you change the model, so they won't be able to ascend to Super Saiyan 4 anymore and crap like that. So I really have no clue how those mods are going to work anymore. I have a question again. Um, well, um, let's see. Wait, did Hell? I just want to be heard on the air. <laughs> Wait, did Hell Demon uh, answer, ask his question yet? Oh, yeah, no. no, I haven't. All right, yeah, Hell Demon is uh, <laughs> is next. Okay, I have a question. God, I feel do like we're ever, in Chuck E. Cheese. Do you have? Do you um ever plan on bringing in Broly or any of those guys? Like any? No, I'm asking it now. Do you ever plan on bringing in any characters like? Okay, do you ever plan on bringing in any characters <laughs> like Broly or Bardock? Spit it out. Oh, man. Or anyone like that. we on like Sesame that. Street or something? Uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I think I might have an answer to that question. Jump right in, Bobby. Well, seeing as Broly is always a Super Saiyan, you know, he was born a Super Saiyan, it wouldn't be fair to other characters that are, you know, just normal. See, that yeah, I, actually, that would be the one that I would um, want to be. No way, that's okay. not correct. Um, Broly actually is um, like a, a common Saiyan, but he's, uh, I only have um, seen the movie once, but um, he's called the legendary Super Saiyan. And he's some kind yes. of super strong Super Saiyan, uh, but um, this question has already been already been asked like a 
thousand times in our forums and we won't add any movie characters in further releases. Mm. And I have another I have another question. Um, Hurry up with it. <laughs> anybody like we'll spit it Bardock? Out. Do you have any idea of bringing in anyone like Bardock or bringing Super Saiyan level 4? He answered that question six times. Yeah, like we said before, it's not happening. Forget about it. Alright, now I got a question. Uh, how do you become Super Saiyan in the game right now? Like, what do you have to do? Yeah, what do you have to do, basically? While you're in game, you have a power level, which is basically how strong you are. And the more you fight, the stronger you get. When you get to a certain level, uh, you're able to press a button and it'll transform for you. Uh, while you're transformed, you're a lot stronger and faster, but you also have uh, weaknesses. Uh, you burn energy quicker, and if you run out of energy, uh, you uh, deform, uh, detransform. And uh, what button do you gotta press? The default is Z. Master, you actually use less KI when you're ascended. You don't burn more KI. Yeah, so there. Okay, my turn. Um, is the um, you know the Krillin disc? Is that fixed? And the Freezer disc? I forgot. Give What's me the crashing the problems. Go ahead. Do you mean the crashing problems? Yeah, we fixed those. Alright, cool. Actually, it was a problem with the sound of the discs, wasn't it? In the... In the... Uh, sorry. Well, Draylock is here. I just wanted to... He, he's got a question for ESS. Uh... <coughs> And I have five questions sitting in front of me too, Andy. Yeah. We'll get the Draylock, and then we'll we'll get to the impatient IRC folks uh, shortly after. Yeah. <laughs> wait, I have another question. Well, you can't. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to wait. Fine. Eat your cake and let Draylock <laughs> ask his questions. Thank you. I was wondering if you guys were ever gonna implement the. Uh, <laughs> Implement what? That's hilarious. Implement uh, Earth League back in. What? He listening to Winamp. Turn your Winamp off. He asked if you're going to implement um, Earth League again. Earth what? What he's talking Earth about League. is uh, we have our own clan ladder slash single player ladder and uh, we call it the Earth League. We are planning on bringing that back during 1.2. Nice. Okay, yeah. we have uh, POC is here. He's got a question for ESF. Uh, yes, indeed. Could you just give me a second? Three yeah, in the morning. Matter of fact, sure. True. We got plenty of. We got. We got all night. Uh, go volume down, just a, just a hair. Yeah, turn your volume just down a hair. Yeah. yeah. We got plenty of time. You guys don't mind waiting around, do you? <laughs> I do. Well, I got one question here from the uh, IRC crowd. <laughs> um, yeah, as long as he's not ready, may as well slip this one in. If you're uh, going to do uh, ESF in Half-Life 2, what will you do with the mapping space? Since they heard that it can be spun up to six times more mapping space than regular Half-Life. Expand. Yeah, that's what he tried to say. It can span. It'd be big. Um, the maps in ESF are mm, not really bigger than all the common Half-Life maps. 
but the player models and all other models are scaled down, uh, scaled down to 25% um, um, of the original size of the model so the maps um, appear, ap appear bigger than common Half-Life maps So there's sort of like mice in the map. Um, if you play in a normal Half-Life map or a Counter-Strike map or whatever, um, it looks kind of like your mice. <laughs> oh, yeah, you okay. might want to look into um, who you who di um who Spit it websites out. let people <laughs> download from. Download ESF like one site I got it from Gamers Hell or something like that. It's um corrupt and stuff. Do you plan on like taking note to who lets people download your things? <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? I don't okay. Well I have a question. Um, no I don't it's no let me answer it. It's um don't check the MP3 because the hell, um, the gamers hell MP3 thing is um is all messed up. So just uncheck the MP3 and it'll install. Wow, I am so okay, confused. Okay. <laughs> okay. Chad got liberated by nine-year-olds. <laughs> anyway, to uh, get rid of all the confusion, they I speak have a the same language. Hitman, did you bring us any Burger King tonight? Uh, yes I did. I brought you all some Whoppers. Yeah, custom made. I'm having a hamburger right now. It's a very good hamburger with fries. And a Mountain Dew. Hey, but is it a Whopper? Yeah, we, didn't, wow. we didn't ask for your it's life an, story. <laughs> it's, an, it's an overpriced hamburger from some place that I live close to. Wow, congratulations. You want a cookie? Congratulations. Okay, hey, I guys. want a cookie. Okay, here's my question. <laughs> How would a person enter um, complex combat mode or melee mode? Yeah, melee mode. And uh, is there in melee mode, complex melee mode, a countering system like countering moves and stuff like that? You know, blocks, you know? Uh, yeah, there is. The whole system's actually based pretty heavily off of blocking. Um, when you're in advanced melee, uh, one person is actually attacking, they're inputting moves, uh, different strengths and different directions in, and as they're doing that, the person on the opposite side uh, sees which directions they're putting in, and they have to try and match and block that. After they're done, uh, we calculate how many blocks they actually made, and then they can retaliate if they like. I got a question. Is there going to be like is it going to be like um, uh, weapon restrictions, like you can use melee, you can toggle it off or something? Yeah, Horace did put in C-bars to turn that on and off. Hey, I did too. I have a question. And Joe. How many different uh, default bindings are there when you like first install the game? Because I haven't played it yet. I'm just downloading it right now. Uh, I'm going to have to count. <laughs> it's the same as any other game, dude. Like, front, forward, backwards, right, right, clicks. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about special stuff for, like, um... Whatever, it could have special stuff. Well, yeah. you have your fly, Six. you have turbo, Six. you have power up, you have block, you have ascend and descend, which uh, controls your your transformations, um, and then you have teleport. So those are all our custom keys that you'd need to bind. I counted seven. My math sucks. Five, seven, same thing. Uh, Wolf is here. Welcome, Wolf. Oh. Uh, is Wolf there? Hello, hello. You got Chinese food? <laughs> <laughs>
Nice. While we're waiting for him, I could ask a question, please. Uh, no right tiki, no washi. Go right ahead, uh, POC. Thank you. Uh, I was wondering about the advanced melee system. On one side, it said it would be automatic, but on the other side, it said it would be some kind of twin thing. I'm I'm not entirely clear on that. Could you explain, please? What the difference is, it, um, in 1.1, you actually had to hold down a button, and when you fl flew close to somebody, you would smash them. In 1.2, you can still do that, um, but if you don't hold down the button, what you'll do is start auto-punching the person when you're within range. So m advanced melee automatically starts, and that's how, we, how it's somewhat automated. Shouldn't be called advanced automated melee. But it's all you from there on in. From there, you can either start doing a combo, you can start throwing kicks and punches at them, or you can throw them. And also, when you start throwing kicks and punches and the other person's going to start fighting back, you're going to have to block. So there's still a lot of input from, from the, the people fighting. Um, when you ascend and you're at full power, would it be like some some electricity flying around you, showing that you're at full power or something? Are you talking about in Beta 1.2 or when we finish out the transformations in Beta 1.3? 1.2. I have two questions. May I ask them? No. Hang on, let me no. answer. Wait your turn and eat your cake first. <laughs> um, we haven't done anything to the transformation effects in Beta 1.2. Melee's been our main focus, uh, so we'll probably add that type of stuff in the next release. Now, is Melee going to raise your power level quicker than Beams? Actually, to keep things balanced, Beams actually do give you more power level. Um, melee gives you some, but not a whole lot. I thought beams would be like arms. They are. Not necessarily. The game plays really fast. You do have your swoop, so if somebody's shooting a beam at you, you could actually dodge that and then rush in at them. So in order to keep it balanced and people still using beams, we have to give them some advantage. I got a couple okay. questions. Uh, is Boo's uh, body part and is is his body part amazingly overpowered like it was before? He never had a body part. What are you talking about? His candy beam, dude. Oh, his candy beam. We haven't changed that at all. So it still does like 15 damage per hit. Uh, I'm not too sure, actually. Hey, I have a question. What? Well, one quick. Uh, Westy is finally here. He's been waiting an hour to get in. Uh, go ahead, Westy. Yeah, I've just forgotten my question now. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Hell Hell Demon. Okay. Um, like, I on your site, cause I just recently heard about this, and I'm trying to download it. Talk Two faster. of them don't work, especially the one with the Steam packet. Gamers Hell is crap, and File Planet's crap too. God, have you guys ever seen Steam Malcolm in the Middle? Well. This reminds me of the kid <laughs> that sits in that wheelchair that's <laughs> like, and how <gasps> do you, you? Slap. <laughs> Um, I got a question. Can you tell me where I can download it? Hey, hey, it mine and... wasn't answered. H hang on, I, I want to answer my question. Ask my question. I, I'm not finished either. Can you, can you tell me where to download <laughs> it? And can you also tell me where babies come from? Okay, guys, listen. They already stated that that version is at least a year old, and probably all the download links are sort of down or not working because it's been there for a year. Right? I guess. Um, I'll back okay, off. Uh, okay, now may I ask my question? <laughs> no, no, no. Do you plan on continually making ESF, or is there a point where you're going to draw the line? 
boy, this guy spammed this question to me several times. <laughs> Man. As of right now, we have until beta 1.6 planned out uh, with things we want to incorporate. After that, um, I don't know, we're just playing it by ear. Oh, I got a whacked out question. This is really out there. I know you probably don't have this in there, but do you have the spirit bomb? Oh, yeah. The what? Uh, yeah. You do? Since we, uh, since beta 1.0. <laughs> oh, it's man. Hitting. Spirit now I gotta get this mod, dude. Attack. You have to press 12 keys at once to do it. No, you don't. Yeah. It's not like DMZ. No, you just load it up like um, any other beam attack or energy attack, and actually the spirit bomb is the strongest um, energy attack of all. Does it, it blow up the earth? energy? All right, I got a question here. Uh, when you guys started this, did Wait, you have mine, any? Mine wasn't finished yet. And I want my too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nobody even answered my question. Nobody right, answered anyway, mine. Because no one wants to answer your question. You guys, I, answer my question. Cookie. When you Eat guys started out, when you guys started out, yeah. did you have problems uh, getting it started in the first place because of Funimation and stuff like that? Them wouldn't let you I'm make the game. Able to just download it right off your site. Uh, we actually haven't had any contact with Funimation yet, which is kind of surprising because um, Bit for Power, which is uh, another Dragon Ball Z mod, but it was for Quake 3, got shut down because of Funimation. So they say. Exactly. Oh, a question. Go ahead, Westy. When you uh, decide on finishing the mod, do you uh, think you'll hand it over to someone else as a for them to do? Uh, we really haven't decided that. Um, I'm pretty sure Parsons will release a source code as he did with our old Alpha 2 code. Um, yeah, it's pretty much playing that by ear also. And we have MJCS uh, here. You have a question for uh, ESF? Yeah, I do. Um, it's an what adult. is your most uh, what is your most unforgettable moment about this mod? Um, I'd have to say when Beta One was released. That was our first giant step. That was. Um, actually a year after we released our alphas and it was a huge leap and we picked up a, a lot of fans and a, a pretty big following after that one and that also attracted the attention of uh, more people that joined on our team well for me it was the um, the day when I was asked to join the development team <laughs> Uh, are you guys planning to add any characters from uh, Dragon Ball GT? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Let's not ask the same question ten times or anything. I got a question. How did you guys go about when fixing the shield bug? <laughs> oh. Shut up. Hey, you can't. Me. You can't interrupt Draylock like that. So you eat your cake. Go ahead, Draylock. Demon, here's a How did you guys? Burger. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you too. Ah, how did you fix the shield bug? And it, if it's fixed, like, what do you do? What do you mean? We coded and we fixed it. <laughs> what can we say about it? Yeah, but that's what you said in 1.1 too. But obviously, it wasn't fixed. Yeah, but, but we actually tested it this time and it works fine. Oh, okay then. Okay. Oh. Okay, um, now I have a question. Another one. Yeah. Did you eat your cake yet? Damn straight I did. Okay, you can ask a question. And don't say damn again or I'm gonna s wash your mouth out with soap. And I'll Not a lot to the house. Not a lot to say okay. the word damn Do you ever plan to here? add any of the Kai's? Like Supreme Kai, Old Kai, anything like that? Or do you plan to add any secret characters that you'd have to unlock by doing some? Mr. Satan. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> we don't have plans to add uh, any of the Kais yet. Um, maybe in a later release when the modelers are bored or something like that, we'll add them. Um, but right now we have no plans to. Has Valve ever contacted, contacted you for any reason whatsoever? Nope. That would be nice though. Yeah, Valve, Valve does listen to Half-Life Radio, so if you're listening, definitely contact this mod. Yeah, I just wanted to say, um, if someone from Valve is listening, you guys know what to do now. <laughs> we are waiting. Wink, wink. Okay, I have a question. Um, will you be able to stop combos in 1.2? Only by blocking them. Um... It's all up to how, how accurately you can follow the directions. The block directions, sorry. Oh, I got a good one. Do you still hit uh, invisible walls, like on some maps, like Cell Night and Cell Day or whatever? There'd be like invisible walls that you just like all of a sudden bounced off of? Actually, that's not really invisible walls, but that's um, clipping errors when you calculate the um, the BSP file. Um, it's not that easy to fix those bugs uh, since you got um, to move some um, verticals and compile and see if it works then. So um, we try to um, um, fix uh, as much bugs on the maps as possible. But um, we cannot really fix all bugs, although they are not um, that bad. Well, I've been mapping a little and I think it's because, like, you know the sky stuff? It's like the sky texture. It's like a block. When you hit it, you hit it. And um, I think another way to do it is, um... <coughs> is, um... Like, um. don't add the sky thing. Well, there you go. I think Reddy knows what he's talking about. I don't know about that kid. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, and I, <laughs> and I don't know what you're talking about now. Noobism. The sky texture, you know? You know that? No, you know, no. Um, the environment? We do not know what sky texture is. So you're suggesting to um, make a map without a sky texture? I'm so confused. Hey. I got, I got one compiled back. I got, I got one compiled without me um using the sky dot wide or whatever it's called. You did, man. I can't do that. Man. I never did wow. that. Wow. Box. Wow! 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 That's so cool. Can That's almost as cool friend? as your mom. Oh, just on the radio. Way to kill the mood, all that's me. Awkward silence. Juke. Whoa. I have a question. Go ahead, Westy. Is there a possibility for ESF to have an age limit restriction to stop people like all Destinies playing on it? <laughs> 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 Silence is golden. <sighs> um, in 1.2, is it uh, possible to make like a standard power lever for everyone, like one million, so we don't have to train that much to ascend?
Well, this Krillin character, he is kind of uses ages to transform, and while I just transform this witch map, it's kind of suck. Uh, what do you guys think of Dragon Ball GT? Good. Uh, not that great, uh, Dragon Ball Z. It sucks. It's okay. It's like American shows. They're just trying to get more money by continuing the same friggin' series. Usually anime just has like one season and ends the story. It's okay, like but that it's okay. It's just kind of a little childish. If they added like a little less no childish way. stuff, it'd be better. That's because it's uh, the American version. Japanese version isn't childish. They like people bleed, have their arms chopped off. Like, in my opinion, I think Dragon Ball GT is a mix of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball. Because you have Goku, That's he turns into a little kid all over again, and he has to go find the Dragon Balls all over again, just like in Dragon Ball. Yes, and then but you have this, the fighting scenes like this time he only has a year to do it, and he, this plot's gonna explode. That sounds like a crappy plot. Can't they think of anything better? Hit my peel off, get, finally gets the Black Star Dragon Balls, and then hit. Goku's got to collect them before the planet explodes after a year, and then we'll What kind of question is this? Oh my god, that's so scary! Dude, what are and you talking about? While they're searching for them, they find this. You know how the Saiyans destroyed the Tuffles? Well, one of their people created this little cyborg dude that, like, infects people and makes them, like, his slaves and stuff. And he takes over Vegeta and like <sighs> almost kills everyone. Ah, uh, okay, now. Really <laughs> <not a lot. laughs> a question from the IRC stuff. channel: Will there ever be more teamwork implemented in the game? You know, like, you know. Oh, and the, the side question is: Can you shut that little kid up? <laughs> oh, don't mind well, Captain Maverick. It, it, you know, he's grouchy. It comes with age. That's right. I'm very grouchy with my old <laughs> yeah. so, But I also like teamwork games. I play DOD. Tell me, is teamwork uh, going to be something that you've got in mind here? We'd like it to be more team-oriented, but it's really hard with how fast the gameplay is. Um, you can't really group up. Well, I guess you could double-team somebody, but beyond that, there's not too much teamwork. Um, in later game modes, possibly... Uh, we try and make it more team oriented that way, but for the time being, it it's pretty much more one on one combat. Is there going to be a story mode in uh, the next version or 1.3? Uh, no, there's not. Uh, we don't have any plans to do single player yet. Um, yeah, but the next game mode we're gonna do is probably fix capture the Dragon Balls, because right now it's impossible to play that mode. Um, I have a question, um, do you ever, like... No, you don't. I got a question. I don't... Yes, I do have a question, I have a question, okay? too. Stop lying. Hey, there's an okay. adult talking. Shut up. You know what? I... I... Yes, as oh I was God, saying, I have a question. My question is, in the beta 1.2 outline, you include client-side attack prediction. Now, doesn't the current release use the events system? <laughs> I'm sorry okay. to laugh, but uh, what's <laughs> Hell Demon up there changing his comment? <laughs> Stupid <laughs> be <beep> half <laughs> He doesn't how like can you take guys. an 11-year-old? How can he take an 11-year-old seriously like that? I swear, it's, it's hilarious. He's hey, uh, <laughs> Hell, Hell Demon, what's going on with your comment there, man? Stupid be okay. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> is okay. one verse one ever gonna be implemented? Like, uh, the game mode, one verse one? Come on. Yeah, and the client-side attack prediction. Uh, what the client-side attack prediction was, um, was Harsons trying to optimize our beam code, uh, which works, because before beams used to make your ping shoot up, and, and now oh, okay. it's, oh, okay. it, they're, they're more friendly to your ping now. Um, I have a question. 
How was Capture Capture the Dragon Balls mode bugged or whatever? What did you say? How was Capture the Dragon Ball mode bugged or whatever? It's not really bugged. The problem is, in most games, if there's an object mode, like, say, Capture the Flag, each team is just going for one flag. The problem with our Capture the, capture the Dragon Ball mode is that you have seven objects or seven different balls, and you have to bring them all together to, to make a wish, and if you're trying to keep track of seven objects and all organized, it's really difficult, and it basically just turns into a team death match. So what we have to do is, when we redo this mode, is try and make it aim towards just having one object, like maybe the group of balls, or some other way like that. Um, I remember, um, playing, and are you guys gonna fix the, um, crashing um, bug with the Shenlong? Didn't you ask that earlier? Yeah. Let's go to, yeah. uh... Freedom. Freedom is here. Welcome I'm, to Half Life. Yeah, I've got probably you know thirty questions over here too. <laughs> Guys, I'm not going to get all your questions asked, so bear with me. Go ahead, Freedom. <laughs> Silence. All right, go to the uh, IRC uh, questions. Well, is power struggling over uh, uh, ever going to become more linear? For instance, when you fire two beams and they meet at a 90 degree angle. Will it rubber band back at you in a straight line? There's like too many voices for me to say anything. Oh. Well, would the beams rubber band back at you rather than, you know, when you got a 90 degree angle? He's looking for a more linear Actually, right now we still have the old problem with the problem with the power struggles. They won't actually um, go back at you. They still get all messed up and stuff like that. But um, Harsens is looking into fixing it in a later version. Are you guys planning to do any changes with the Sensu beams? We haven't really talked about that since we implemented them. Um, we've been trying to not use them because they're kind of cheap and they make gameplay harder. Um, that might come back up during our later game modes, possibly capture the Dragon Balls. That might be a wish, or we'll figure out some way to work them in. Um, I have not played the game yet. I'm planning to as of now. Um, do you have voice, and if you don't, do you ever plan on putting voice communication in it? Uh, we do have voice communication in beta 1.2, uh, so you'll be able to use that. Okay. And I'll you said before you don't, you don't have any idea as to how you'd like to put teamwork in, but you can't really figure out how you do that. <laughs> Are you playing? Pool? Okay. No, he's playing Stop with his balls. balls. Monkey ball. Hey, you're not supposed to do that in public, son. You do young for now, that. Let's see, what uh, is this so question good. here? How does the new Namek DBs work? The new Namek Dragon Balls, are they the same as the normal ones, or are they different? Uh, they're completely the same. We haven't touched that mode since we first put it in. And like I was saying before, it needs to be reworked, so we're not really messing with it at all. Okay, we got we got a few minutes left, and uh, I think Westy uh, from the UK had, had a question. Yeah, I was just uh, wondering, what are the biggest restrictions for the Half-Life 1 engine in terms of what you want to do with Dragon Ball Z, or Z, as we say in England? Let's see. And what would you um, do for a better engine? It pretty much... I don't know. We can't do anything with Half-Life 1. It cuts off all... Uh, cuts off everything that... I can't say it. It cuts off everything that we, that we want to do. It's... I don't know. I can't... I don't know. <laughs> Getting knocked through mountains would be freaking awesome. 
Yeah, um, Half-Life's based off of Quake 2, and it's pretty limited. Uh, we have a lot of texture limits, poly limits. Um, we can only use so much particle effects, otherwise it'll lag horribly. So the, li the engine itself is pretty limiting graphically. Um, I know getting beams in was a challenge. Um, it was even harder getting them so that they didn't crank up your ping. Um, on the Steam thing, like, you know, the new um, screen? Steam? It's a battle between the two little ones because they want to hear their voices on the radio, I think. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay? We got, we got Hell Demon, we got All Destinies going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And about 50% of the 35 messages I've got sitting on my screen right now say, Get the kids off the radio. <laughs> <laughs> I agree on that bad. one. <laughs> but guys, you've got to understand, these kids are what make ESF play. All right? And it's the rest All of these the little, little kids, kids in there, too. Easy. That's right. You me. get to ask and no I'm more 13, questions. And I'm just like Jiris, so... I don't know what you're talking about. Jiris is the... I hit puberty. puberty. Hey, <laughs> I have a question <laughs> for you, sir. So have I. At least <laughs> all Destiny is the same be age quiet. as you, too. Just be quiet. Just be Dude, quiet. what are you talking about? All right. All right, we're uh, almost at a time. <laughs> uh, what I want to do now... <laughs> using any other game servers to, um, take, Get it out. Uh, Come post on, it on, on you know. instead of Steam, so like using another through. thing like GameSpy or something. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, well, yeah, we'll let you know next week with that. <laughs> All right, repeat uh, after next. me. Whee! 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 On a, on a Yo, more, favorite. on a, you know, I remember the last time when, it's always fun when, when ESF is here, because we do have the best time. I remember the last time, and, and it, and it uh, we had a fun uh, night and, and good interview. So, uh, that's why I'm hoping that maybe on May 8th, you can come back, uh, and, uh, we can, uh, help promote your, your upcoming release. Shameless plug. That'd be awesome. Without nine-year-olds. Yeah, sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah. Hi, guys. I, I just have one question I'm for you. Um, <laughs> I'm 13. Um, and so is Jiris. Oh, what happens and all when I destinies. go through puberty? I, I just don't know. Does my voice get deeper when I go through All right. Keep... Uh, hello? Oh, whatever. Bullcrap. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, this is Half-Life Radio. This is my voice is deeper more than all and destinies. Excuse me. There's an adult talking. Um, this is Half-Life Radio. <laughs> Tonight, we've been talking with ESF, and we're going to have them back on uh, on their debut of the new uh, upcoming release. And for the next couple of minutes, everybody in the room has free reign to give out the Half-Life Radio shout-outs. Except Heldy. No, he's not on to you. <laughs> Maverick strikes again. Where's that bell at? <laughs> Honey, bring me my bell! <laughs> um, shout out to... Urban Special Forces for having a very cool mod. Guys, I would like to give a shout out to Campbell Shoot. HLGaming.com, one game, years of entertainment. Shout, shout out to the stupid the woman off. Shout out to the woman off Battlefield Vietnam. GI. Shout out to Psycho and L and all those Dutch people. 
shout out going out to Master Surf and PC Joe and DJ Ready uh, for all being here tonight. And a big shout out to all of you guys in the IRC channel that did not get all of your questions answered tonight. Come back on the 8th, I'll get your questions answered. And Andy, any more trouble? And they get the <laughs> bell. <laughs> shout out to Badgers. The Tooth Fairy's here. Shout, shout out to Filthy. Shout out to Shout out to Hitman101 because he told me to. Shout out to hey, the Cole. Shout out to Really Slow Talking. Shout out to Rice Clan, the worst clan on ESF. <laughs> <laughs> 